Okay, looking at this system, it's on a butcher's counter for poor cooling. Um, we've tried pumping it down and we got up to 440 psi on the high side. We still had three bar on the low side. I'm mixing me psi and bar, we had about 40, 45 on the low side, 400 and something on the high side. So we've got too much liquid in this and it's completely filled the condenser up and went off on the high HP. And then um, <coughs> the LP is switching off too soon. So I think it might be limiting the amount of duty it can do because it's going off on the LP switch. Uh, plus it's overcharged. Now this has been there for years, I've never worked on it, so it's obviously been like it for 10 years plus. Okay, we've made an adjustment. If it went off a 10 psi, I'd be happy. Twelve, I can live with that. So we come back on around 40, hopefully. There we go. Okay. I've shut the receiver valve now. <coughs> so it should be pumping down. And yet we've still got three and a half bar, 50 psi on the suction. So it's got off around 29, 30 bar. Yep, it's overcharged. Or maybe the receiver's too small for the system. But it's, it's a short pipe run. It's only a uh, quarter inch and probably half inch or maybe five eighths so it's not a lot of gas in there shut that off Okay, it's pumping down properly now, so it's going to go off on the LP switch before the HP switch trips. So it's got enough space in there to pump down with the solenoid, but not enough space in the unit to pump down the gas that's in the liquid line to the solenoid, if that makes sense. Yeah. So it's borderline overcharged. Okay, that capacitor there is reading nothing at all. It's completely open circuit. So we've got another one. <coughs> so it could have been going off on its clicks and, and then cooling down and then coming back on, which would fit the symptoms of it, it cooling, getting down to temperature and then shutting off and then getting up to 11 before it come back on again. Um, so it was like it was stopping cooling independent of the thermostat. So we're into pressure switch, high or low, I mean the low one was going off too high 
um, we got a bit too much liquid in it, we took a little bit out and also it could have been going off on the clicks because there's no, there's basically no start cap so it will, it will start up because the start cap will give it a kick uh, but there's no run capacitor to keep it running nice uh, so that make the motor run hot pull too many amps so that would account for the fault anyway get that wired in Okay, I didn't take the run current before I changed that. It's a bit daft. I suppose I could pull the wire off and see what it does. I might do that. Um, I think it's 5.3 rated load amps on the compressor and we're pulling 4. Which, uh, that 4, I'm not sure if it includes the fan. I don't know if it does. I think the fan might be on a separate thing. Uh, 4 amps. Let's, uh, let's turn that off. And I'll pull the wire off and we'll try it and see what difference that makes. Okay, let's try that. There we go, 5.7 amps. That's putting it over the rated load amps just by disconnecting the run capacitor. But it will still start off of the start cap, which is 100 microfarads plus 20%. So it might be 120, so it'd be 135, giving it a kick if that was in circuit. So that's put a 1.7, 1.8 amps on the run current. Yeah. Okay, that's connected back in. Four amps. Two. Yeah, one and a half amps ish. But it put it put it over the maximum run amps, and it's quite cool to now. So it, the other day when it was hot, it would have been probably even higher with the air pressure being higher. So I think it was going off on the clicks and. Okay, thought we'd have a look at this. That's that one we was working on. Thought we'd have a look at this one as well while we was here. Same thing again. Start uh, run cap, 35 microfarads, and it's reading nothing. Uh, so we've got a new one. There we go. That's a new one. 35. That's all we've got on the van, but that will do. That'll get them going. Uh, class A 400 volts, what's this one? Class A 420 volts, Class B 470 volts, Class B 450 volts. I don't know if 21 might be the, it's done four years then, if that's the production date, because we put this compressor on a while ago. Anyway, let's get that fitted. Nine amps. Nine amps, that's without the capacitor. Six point eight. So that's quite a drop. It's always worth checking these if you're, if you're working on these. Looking on here, it's a single phase that might have got a capacitor in there somewhere. Might even be in that box. Seven amps, almost like two amps more, two amps more, because that buff. 